Hello everybody, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I know things look a little bit different because they are. We have uh, some changes. We've got uh, the Peterbilt 389, description for it will be below in the comments, as always. And I just really, really, really love this truck. I customized it um, to basically be what I wanted, um, the lighting in the front of it, all the way to the back. Here's the back of it. And you can see we'll fire up the truck here in a minute. You see, there's the, uh, we got the uh, parking brake on now, but if I turn the parking brake off, we hit the brake lights, we have those. We have blinkers left, we have blinkers right. And as requested, we have the GoPro camera. Yeah, so you can actually see how I shift and all that good stuff. And look at the interior of this truck. It is gorgeous. It's marvelous. Car and driver. There's the back end. I know some people want to see the back of the, of the, of the truck. Uh, it's got a custom lighting in it with that red light. It is beautiful, and I absolutely love it. Um, I know some of you guys got to see it on the stream on Sunday. But for those of you that didn't, here she is in all her glory. And we will be driving this truck a lot, I have a feeling. So first things first, we had to drive. Well, I ended up driving um, all the way from way down south near Italy, all the way up here where the DLC is, Scandinavia again. And uh, that's the main reason why I haven't been back to Europe in a while is because of the Scandinavian DLC. Man, this is taking a minute to load. All right, let's fire this bad boy up. Let's push in the clutch and ignition. Start her up. Man, it sounds so good. Parking brake off. And I chose the uh, Packer, if you're wondering. Look, whenever you hit the the, the uh, gas that moves that um, the CB radio uh, thing around up there. Let's get the hell on out of here. So I was here because of... Um, this is where I was on the live stream, so we're not picking up here. We're going down further. All right, making a left. Watch the car. Watch the car. Okay. Another car coming. Jeez, Louise. This time of night? All right, cool. I think we're good now. And that's the sound right there. That... That's what I'm talking about. Not a turbo. And down in the fourth gear. And we have lots of stuff to talk about, man. Let me tell you, so much shit has happened. It's insane. So I, now I'm in sixth gear. I hit this button. I come down here. Actually, we're going to go into eighth. We're bobtailing right now, so we can skip gears down into 10th gear. Uh, and they want us to go up here. Okay. Making sure. So we're in 10th, and then we can rev mash to 9th, rev mash down to 8th, and then we're good to go. Going to 10th. Turn here. And I've been playing with the scaling settings, so hopefully the anti-aliasing looks a little bit better. I'm really stupid when it comes to uh, anti-aliasing with Euro Truck Simulator 2. I never really understood it. I love having the mirrors on the left. That's really nice. You can see, oh, I mean, of course, trucks have mirrors on them, but you can actually see out of it pretty well. Man, that guy didn't waste any time on so much for yielding to anyone. So these are my main buttons. The first button up here is the one that goes, uh, you know, one through, so you have one through six, then this goes seven through um, 10. Then we go hit this button, or sorry, not 10, seven through 12. And we hit that button and then we can go all the way up to 18. So let's get on the highway, do our thing. We so hit this button here. We can go up into 13th gear. There we go, a little bumpy right here. Do I have my headlights on? I'd have my parking lights on. That's what it was. Oopsie. Oopsie. All right. The 14th gear. And we're trucking. We just have to go down the road just a little bit down here to pick up uh, this load. Man, listen to that, that, that highway sound in this truck. It sounds so good. Just really love this truck, guys. So I hope you like it, too, because we're going to be seeing a lot of it. 17th and oh, I get to show you the Jake break when we come down uh, off the highway. It is just badass. Let's save some gas, throw it down into 18th gear. There we go. And now we're sailing. So I got my, uh, these are my hazard lights here. These are headlights, um, bright lights. I forget what the bottom one is. Horns over here on my steering wheel. And I have cruise control and all that stuff. Maybe that's what that is, cruise control. We're doing about 70 miles per hour here. Let's kind of watch our speed. I haven't got a speeding ticket in this truck yet. One would think you would, but rev match this thing on down to 16th, and then we're going to Jake break it as we come down the hill here. 
and it sounds so good or up the hill actually so let's get a little bit of gas Ooh, a little bit of a lag spike there so we'll go how amazing is that just tell the 12th gear there plenty for uh when we're bobtailing we're fine the button go up here into 13th and that's pretty much how i shift the truck in this so we're not using a controller or anything we're using a g27 with pedals and it's pretty much as real as you can get except for you can't float gears in uh, euro truck simulator so i wish i could but you see if i don't press the clutch in i could just pop this thing up here into 15th and you get nothing out of it so no big deal I'm making it right up here right on up into here how about that and once we pick up then we get to talk about a lot of stuff it'll be fun it will be fun oh we have a, a ruined boat slow down for this guy it's 12th look over to the left there it's 11th yeah a little more gas there we go beautiful it's gonna be 50 through here and i can hit the uh, i button and we can go over here and i'll know how many kilometers an hour i'm doing which is pretty cool uh, o changes between your sat nav, as you can see there. Um, I chose the interior that's the classic one, has the wood grain. You can get the, the newer Peterbilt looking one. Man, look at this. I guess we have to yield to this. I'm, I'm not too fond of the uh, road signs, or not too familiar with them, but I think we're supposed to yield, essentially. There's that. <laughs> All righty, sorry I had to cut here because friggin' dogs were going insane back there for no reason just barking at absolutely nothing uh let's see what we got here this one i'll take it take the job pick it up here at ikea so your trailer is ready please proceed forward all righty we'll do that and what i can do is i can go up here into so if i hit this button we'll be in the second set uh we can be in reverse two and reverse two is not as crazy so it's a little easier to to manage it's not as like short we'll say that i guess okay we're picking up that one over there watch out for these pallets here and we'll back this baby on in there so what i mean by that is we'll throw it here into neutral and then watch we'll be in reverse two and we'll watch those the mirrors here we're gonna have to finagle our way back in there to that trailer not a big deal so we'll be here in uh seventh gear which again, we're bobtailing, so it's not a big deal. We can easily do that. And now we can just back this sucker on in. Let's turn our hazard lights on. And we'll pick up this trailer. Some, uh, be forewarned with this 389, it won't pick up some trailers. So it really depends on the front end of the trailer. Man, this is in a tight spot right here, but we're good. Got it. All right, so I, I always click my right mouse button. That's what I have that set to since I never really used the mouse in this game. And we're good. So let's go back here to the first set. And we have first gear again in second. So we'll take off in first here. And let's get on the road. There's second gear. You just gotta double clutch a little slower in order for it to not make that horrible noise. There we go. Okay, cool. Almost out of here. This is the supervisor. It's like, man, get the hell on out of here. Put your IKEA self. All right, cool. We'll make it right out of here. And we'll be pretty much back on the motorway before you know it. Looking both ways. We're good to go. I always kind of put that nose there so I can see the um, trailer back there. Man, it's a tight one out of here. There we go. We're good now. There we go. So now we can do some skipping gears up here. All right, and we're rolling. That's what we like. We like to be rolling. Oh, we got a yield here. Cars, but it looks like we're good. I remembered that this time. How about that? Well, it wasn't for the wasn't the best, but I still got to get better at these uh, ruined boots because I'm not very good at them. 
but we're gonna try our best this time. I figured uh, pretty much out with roundabouts and me is that I usually go with the inside lane, kind of like protected, but the AI doesn't care if you're there or not. So you gotta stay in that outside lane if we're gonna use the roundabout the correct way, I suppose. So we'll stick to our side. We'll stick to our story. How about that? We should make a right turn out of it right to here. Nice. Watch our trailer over there. Looks good on the curb. And we're rolling. Second button there. So we go up into 13th. And yeah, we'll go ahead and go up into 14th gear. I was trying to figure out where we're at. We're going to be getting on the highway and now it makes sense. It's an underpass and then we make a left onto the on-ramp. Not a big deal. You can always Jake break down this little hill. It'll be fun. Well, actually, it's going to be a, a down ramp. Okay, well, that's cool. Actually, we don't need to even Jake break. How about that? We'll just use our uh, rev matching on the way down. So we just hit the second button again because we're going to come down the basement. Well, not the basement, but basement will be down where one and two and all that is. And we'll kind of just take it easy here. Watch for cars. Looks good. Watch our trailer back there. And we get on the road. In 11th. Over here into 12th. Hit the button, be ready for it for 13th. There's 13th. Watch our mirrors. And we're good. Yeehaw. So now we're on the motorway completely. That's what we want. Went to, uh, or I hope you guys' uh, 4th of July was good. Mine was good. Had a lot of fun. We uh, went to Fair St. Louis, which is like a, you know, like a huge thing here in St. Louis with fireworks and all that and live music. Uh, cool and the gang was there. For those of you that uh, follow my Snapchat, you probably saw it. You probably saw it. It was a lot of fun, though. I had a good time. Had a real good time. All right. Now we're making some time on the road. Let's get up here into 18th gear so we can uh, start sipping that fuel. We're going to need to do that. We have a merge coming up. We'll get here before that car. So let's get up here into 18th gear. There we go. So now we're in 18th gear. We're pretty much good to go. Watch that truck. Don't trust them too much. Listen to that road noise. Man, it sounds so good. We just kind of coast through here. That's one thing that... Uh, in Euro truck with American trucks like this in, in any truck in general is you really really got to uh, kind of know when to let off the gas and, and kind of read the map out a little bit on the GPS because some of these roads in the new DLC are pretty sharp they're sharper than you think they're going to be we're running out of fuel oh my god we are you have got to be kidding me I thought we had filled up before on the live stream, but I guess not. Let's see how, what we're doing here on fuel. We got 169 liters, 344 kilometers. Let's keep sipping it here in 18th gear. Try to see if there's a gas station coming up. There's a gas station coming up. Okay. Well, that's good to know. And it's raining, so we'll turn our wipers on. And we're just going to take it easy right now so we can save fuel. I did not realize that that was going on with the fuel. That is my fault, 100%. 100%. We gotta watch our distance with this truck in front of us too, man. Ooh, lightning, it's a storm. Speaking of storms, uh, I know in my LSPD far, I kind of went over it. And remember the, uh, it's kind of ironic the last time I did a Euro truck. I talked about the uh, tornado situation here in St. Louis and how, you know, I had to bail on a live stream and all that stuff. But uh, we actually got hit by a tornado here um, just the uh, beginning of this this past week uh, before the weekend. So I don't know what exact day that was. I think that was on. I don't remember. See, I was trying to put, I was working on two LSPDFR episodes. All right, we're going to make it to the, the gas station. Yeehaw. Go ahead and get in line, buddy. I don't know what you're doing. But we got to get off the road here in a second. Here, I'm going to hit I. Get us back so I know what gear we're in, at least. 
All right, here's the gas station up here on the left. And I we can't make a left in here. We have to go up and then turn in. I've always made that mistake in the past with these gas stations and this fuel station. We'll make sure that we do it right this time. How about that? There's 12th gear. Look at that rain effect. It looks so good. It's 10th. We actually go back down all the way into the basement. The six. We're good there. And we'll pull up in here. And there's neutral. Hit the brakes. Nice and easy. There we go. Parking brake is set. Turn off the truck. And we'll fill her up. Fill her up. Look at that. It took 973 liters, man. Big tank on this truck. We'll just double check and make sure everything looks all right outside, which it does. Seems to be okay. And we'll get back on the road. Back into the truck. Clutch in. Start up the engine. And we're good to go. Parking brake off. We'll launch off a second gear here. And watch that back down there. And we're going to spin this sucker around. I want to get to where we'll be 90 degrees so I can actually see both ways. That's what I want to do it for. Because it's hard to see both ways here. But I don't see any traffic coming. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. That's sixth gear. Hit the button. We'll go to eighth. And we'll just use all the bottom gears right here. There's 12th. Hit the button. 13th. Smooth sailing again. Although we are in some inclement weather, but that's okay. But back to what I was saying, our neighborhood got hit by a small tornado. I would guess it was like an EF zero to EF one. Um, but uh, it was like not reported. But the damage, uh, usually if it's straight line winds, you know, all the trees go a certain way and all that, but these have been twisted out of the ground and our fence in the backyard's gone and it was insane though so i was sitting here uh editing two ls pdfr episodes and i was like man i gotta save this because i heard the storm coming i didn't know I, I had the radar up on the left side i was watching the radar to make sure it was going to be okay Oop. so used to having to rev match shouldn't do it whenever i'm up shifting um and uh I saw it over the radar, but it was over the radar, so you can't really see it very well. So with that said, it's like, okay, I think it'll be all right. So I hit save on my project of Premiere, and when I stood up, I said, well, I waited for the next, uh, you know, revolution of the radar to update, and it showed that it was a serious storm, and I was just standing up to tell mom that uh, I was, was going to tell her to get into the, you know, the middle most room of the house which is our bathroom there in the hallway tell her to take shelter because it was a couple coming right at our house and uh but before i mean before i could even stand up it sounded like hail and it wasn't hail it was pieces of tree limbs and you name it being thrown at the house it was absolutely crazy and it was over in a few seconds we lost power immediately um so I'm glad I saved all that work I did in in uh, Premiere. And then we walked outside and it was just, I mean, the neighbors had a tree thrown in their house. Another one had another tree thrown in their house. Like every, it seemed like every single neighbor on our block, our cul-de-sac got nailed by some damage. And we got so, so lucky. We got nothing. So... I think we're going to have uh, the insurance company come out and check out the uh, roof of the house just to make sure. But in the meantime, it was just all clean up. Watching everybody in the neighborhood cleaning up. It was crazy, though, man. I mean, I'm I, whenever I had storm chase, and I, I know how fast those storms move, but you kind of forget about it sometimes. And I was watching the, the, uh, the radar, waiting for it to update, you know, to see what the next look of the uh, couplet and when i say couplet it's just uh it's swirling winds pretty much uh on the radar you look at a uh, velocity radar and it's red and green green i think it's away from the radar and reds to it or vice versa but you look for couplets and uh 
it was pretty crazy. Never been in a tornado before. It was a very small tornado. Uh, I, I think it was hopping around. Uh, and inside of tornadoes, you get these things called suction vortices that fly all over the place at the very base of it. And it could have been something like that, that, um, you know, why it hit certain houses and didn't hit ours. But everybody's fine. We're good. And the, the animals, the pets, they weren't even scared. I was like, what the hell? I couldn't believe they weren't scared at all because they're usually the first ones to freak out about storms. But that, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, what else? Talking about, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, today I went to the, we went back to that psychic. I think I told you guys about that. I don't remember. It's a long, uh, quite a few months ago, whenever uh, myself and uh, Nicole went to a psychic, just for fun, you know, but she's really good. It, it's a tarot reading. If you don't know what tarot cards are and you don't believe in all that, I mean, that's fine. I, it's, we went as fun and, uh, and pretty much last reading everything that she said was going to happen pretty much did so it's like wow she's she kind of knows what she's talking about so we waited six months and now we went we went again today and uh it was good it was nothing but positive things um that i, I and it oh she always blows me away she always says something that just i'm like wow like okay and then eventually it does happen <laughs> And that's probably just, you know, who knows? I don't, I don't know what your guys' take on all that is, so I'm not gonna go into it in depth. Just that it was a fun experience and we'll probably go again. It was a good time. Oh, it's 30 through here. Oh, they have a red light. Stop, stop. We're good, we're good. Got it, one, two. Buckle my shoe. Holy cow. Should have been paying attention. Well, we stopped in time. We did stop in time. It's damn red light. Okay, it's gonna get going again. There we go. I'm gonna use all the bottom pieces here. So four, six, hit the button over here to eighth, into 10th, into 12th, here we go. And then hit the second button, 13th. 14th we get back up to speed I've gotten very comfortable with the truck though I, I driving it as long as I did I did get used to it I like it a lot more than the uh, the the Kenworth T800 mainly because I just I'm a Peterbilt kind of dude I like Peterbilts I like the huge conventional noses on the front of them it's like we're gonna be making a turn up here Gothenburg's Stad there you go, Goatberg Stog. Let's start slowing down. It's up here on the left. We're not going to Oslo. You can believe we're not going to Oslo. All right, we'll stay in 13th gear. It looks like it's going to work pretty well. Let's roll through this baby. Then make another left. So we'll do exactly that. I think we're at the... Are we at the port already? I, th I know we had to go to a port. I'm assuming that's what it was, that it is. No, we we'll go over the highway. Man, this is, these road systems are totally different than what we're used to, but that's okay. We're adapting. Not using a Jake brake in the rain. Slowing down, taking it easy on the bridges and stuff whenever it's raining. All right, nope, we're just getting on another highway. That was a cool change up, I like that. No cars. I don't know what time it is. Not in real life in this game. 4.52 in the morning. I'd say there's no cars on the road. That would be why. That would be why. And down the hill we go. 16th gear. We're getting off the highway up here, so we'll just coast right now. And that's pretty much it. I think once we get to the port, we'll, we'll end the uh, episode there. But it's going to be a two-parter for sure. It's going to be a two-parter. I had a feeling. Okay. Getting off up here. Actually, we'll probably have to turn off the highway in a little bit. End the episode. And I'd love to bring you guys a longer episode, but... 
upload my upload speed is so bad being five five megabytes up and that's the max you can get with charter so take it up with them not me all right cool just gonna coast this in 13th gear gonna hit the button go down to 12th into 11th here that jake break a little bit there okay watch both ways for traffic got cars come on both sides all right we're good there back down to the basement we go be launching off in second and waiting for these cars. man i had a little bit of a lag spike hit a lag spike everybody oh the traffic's starting to pick up because it's early in the morning for rush hour i don't think they're gonna let us go though no they're not okay we'll be waiting for a second here that truck like skirp skirple derple do arla all right we got a nice queue of cars coming here now man come on buddy go go camry i don't think he's gonna go you got it you got it you got it no you had it oh too timid i suppose Put it in neutral and hold the brake. I'm not gonna sit there with clutch and waiting for this. Wow. That guy was flying a little smart car. Holy cow. All right, you got it there, buddy. You got it all the way, all the way. There you go. Come on, guys, get it all going. Oh, you're gonna let me out? Nope. Thought he was gonna let me out. He wasn't. He thought about it. He was like, no. Nope. Oh man, the traffic is real. Look at this one. Hmm. All right, let's see. We're just going to get a break in the traffic after this car here. Oh, could have been a mistake. Yeah, he stopped for us. I was like, nope, not playing that game. We got places to be. There we go. 12th and we go up higher can you take me higher yes get over here awesome and we're back on the road I wonder how far the port is oh we're almost at the port okay cool yeah I'll end the episode at the port and then we'll continue on from there and that'll be part 2 I think that'll work out for everybody what a beautiful run, though. Absolutely beautiful. Can't be upset by that. Especially when it comes to heritage equipment. All right. Gothenburg Stad, yes. I think this might be a uh, speed trap up here, so we're going to kind of take it easy. I don't know what that sign means. I haven't, like I said, I haven't got a speeding a ticket. Speeding a? Haven't gotten a speeding ticket in this truck yet. I'm going to try to keep that going. But, you know. You never know what you can do. This is kind of dangerous. Like, you fly through this. And then you have to come to an abrupt stop and make a right. be ready for this are we, we're hitting that on the side I guess we are traffic got to give them room that's for sure 16th gear yeah we're getting off up here to Frederick Chauvin yes going to Frederick Chauvin or Frederick's Haven. Okay, 14. I think we're gonna go 13. 13 seems to be a magic number for this turn for me. And we have to make a left. Okay, it's one the same one kind of thing we just did, so. We'll go to the 12th. Slow it down. 11th. 10th. Get in the left lane. There's another IKEA runner. 
another Ikea runner. And down into sixth by hitting that button. And we're just gonna roll up here like this. They're gonna let us go? Really? Well, Mr. Range Rover didn't want to do it, but Mr. Truck did. Well, thanks, Mr. Truck. That was awfully nice of you. Appreciate it. Can't find a grind it. It's like a transformer. And that sound is just the grinding gear sound if you uh if you double clutch too fast, it does that. Alrighty. Almost here to the port. Every time I come, I produce a quart. That is offensive. That's from the movie Step Brothers, if you don't know. Okay. Frederick's Haven. Let's let's get on out of here and go to Germany. And let's let's do some Jake breaking for the hell of it. Well, that was a pretty uneventful Jake break. It was very quickly done. Sounds good though. That's all that matters. Sounds really good. Alright, we're good now. So we make it right up into the thing. We gotta, oh, we gotta yield. So we're gonna just keep an eye on traffic. Came out of fucking nowhere, you little shit. Go ahead. You trying to hit my truck today? You trying to hit it? Yeah, that is so weird. That should be a stop sign there. It's so scary. Oh. And that's another, oh my God. These X's. What the hell is going on with these X's? I know they don't want us to go that way, but I mean, shit. Alrighty, cool. We have made it here. Make our turn. Excellent. Excellento. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you wanna see more Euro Truck, hit the like button so I know the series uh, is something you guys wanna see in the future. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.